After the shoulder stand, you do the plow. And the plow is a yoga position that brings the prana that comes all through the upper part of your body. It brings it down into the heart after practicing the shoulder stand. And it comes down um, into the heart chakra and it feeds the the center of your immune system in the in the heart. And to do the plow, you can lie down on your back and you can bring your arms up towards um, a chair or towards the wall because we're going to bring our feet backwards so that we have lots of room for our head and your head can still roll easily from side to side. So you bring your hands down, you bend your knees in towards your chest, and you come up. Now, with your feet back towards the wall, now some people can't quite get up that far, so you can take some blocks and you can put them underneath your pelvis, and you can do the plow right here with the blocks under your pelvis. Otherwise, you can come all the way back over to the wall, and then you bring your hands onto your pelvis. Your head still moves easily from side to side. You can see how easily my head moves and then you bring it back to the center and the weight of your pelvis moves away from your head into your hands. And some people need to get their shoulders under them a little bit more so you interlock at your fingers and you move your arm bones down away from your head. Don't tuck your shoulders under, otherwise you won't be able to move your head. Your collarbone still has to stay wide. And then you bring your hands onto your back and you can lift your pelvis up and away from your head so that your, your head moves easily from side to side. Your pelvis stays back. The weight is in your elbows. And then you close your eyes and you breathe. And it's just like the shoulder stand in that it forces you to breathe with your proper breathing muscles. So if you're a person who doesn't breathe with your proper breathing muscles, you're going to feel like you're choking. So you have to breathe out a lot, but it'll teach you to use your breathing muscles that are on the back of your body and the sides of your body. You breathe, and then when you want to move, little tiny movements, you move your pelvis away from your head and that'll make your spine go long. And those of you who are a little bit more flexible, you can tippy toe down a little bit more towards the floor as long as your pelvis stays back away from your head. Some people like to, who aren't that flexible, like to bend their knees, but keep the weight away from your head. See how I can still move my head. The chest has to stay very soft, no armoring, very soft in the chest. The weight back. And you breathe. And some people can come right to the floor. And you take the breath in and out. And you practice the plow after you do the shoulder stand. And you stay for as long as you're comfortable. My mom. By bit, by bit, by bit. Two. When you come down, you just bend your knees a little bit. You support yourself with your hands and you bring yourself back down to the floor, bit by bit, by bit, by bit. I like to hold on to my mat to push my lower back into the floor, pull my chin down and come down slowly. And it just feels so good with that energy running all through from the shoulder stand and then the plow coming down through the chest. And it just feels so wonderful, so relaxing. All those wonderful, wonderful tranquilizing effects. Shoulder stand, plow, and in a moment we'll do the thing.